So in August of 1992, we arrived at the port of Puerto Rico, San Juan, to start our cruise on the beautiful Monarch of the Seas. The Monarch of the Seas at that particular time was nine months old. So basically, we had a brand new ship we were getting on. We went to the uh, check-in and it was the usual drill back then. Everybody uh, crowded around looking for their boarding documents and standing in long lines. Eh, much different than it is today. And we got the customary uh, selfie photos of boarding the ship. And the little guy here decided to check out the bed in the tiny cabins that we had back then. It was pretty small. Prior to this cruise, I'd been on the Song of America and I had also been on the Sovereign of the Seas. And one of the things I loved was the Viking Crown Lounge, which you just saw up there. This is out the pool bar and the little uh, logo that they had hanging there, which was quite beautiful. Uh, this is the main pool deck on uh, this particular ship and everybody had just gotten on so it was pretty quiet but the band was out there playing the usual caribbean calypso music which definitely gets you into the mood when you get on the ship we decided to go in and get a little snack at the windjammer buffet which is located up there on the top deck uh, by the pool and here's a shot of the seaward which was docked next to us 1480 passengers that it carried and that was a large number of people back in that time until this ship uh, took over. So the bar started filling up and like I said before we were going into the Windjammer Buffet which was absolutely gorgeous. It's a two-story uh, which was really unique uh, at the time and really you don't see that anymore but it uh, a very, very nice layout with plenty of room for everybody. And when you're ready for your coffee in the morning, just go over and help yourself to it. So this was the main entrance and boy, what a bit of a line that we had waiting to uh, dig in to get some lunch. And the longer we were there, the busier it got in there. But look at the big buffet spread that they had laid out and everybody truly seemed to be enjoying the food that they had prepared. Up here on the Viking Crown Lounge, we decided to go up and sit and have a couple drinks and overlook the ship. Such a beautiful view, 360 degrees. And this is the captain of the ship back then. Uh, she was getting ready to take us out uh, of the harbor. Uh, not sure how competent she was, but eh, we made it back okay. Again, here's another shot of the main pool below. You see how spacious it was. Here's the five-story centrum in the ship, which, like the Sovereign of the Seas, was the spectacular show point. Back then, this was so unique with the glass elevators going up and down and all the staircases on the outside. Just absolutely beautiful. The one thing about Royal Caribbean, they always had a band down in there playing, which really is nice and adds to the excitement of the trip that we are embarking on. Here's a quick shot of one of the inside staterooms there, and small is not the word for it. Uh, very, very tiny, but we didn't know any different back then. So we moved back up to the pool area here and decided to uh, jump in with everybody who were all in the party mood. And party they did on this particular ship. Had really a pretty young crowd back then. I was in my uh, early 30s, and uh, it was uh, really, really an enjoyable cruise with the people that were on this ship. Here's a shot of the second pool up there, the one more towards the uh, pool bar. And there you see some happy customers that are relaxing and somebody making some uh, furtive movements about pulling her top down, which I don't think ever did happen. And that's looking up towards the front of the ship. You can see there's plenty of seating up there for everybody. And here we're pushing out from port and everybody got themselves a nice seat to enjoy the beautiful view. And that's actually one of my favorite times and pretty much everybody else is when you're sailing away and you get to uh, watch the port slowly disappear. Plenty of jacuzzis on the Monarch of the Seas and they did get utilized by us and all the others that were on the ship here. 
This is a gorgeous view of us leaving and typical Caribbean weather. So it's time to go in and get some dinner. And this is what the dining room looked like, a good shot of it. And very beautiful, like all the other Royal Caribbean ships. Again, everything pretty much brand new on the ship. Uh, as I recall, we had an excellent waiter there. There was a number of us that were on there. He was giving us a quick wave. But there were a number of us that were in a group that were on this particular trip. And he made it enjoyable for every single one of us. And here is the usual dance that they did at dinner. Pretty much, it seemed like they did it every every single night with the Ole Ole song. If I ever hear it again, it'll be too soon because they definitely wore me out on it. Thank God they don't do that so much anymore. They've kind of backed off on it. Although I understand Carnival still, still takes it to the extremes with the photographers coming to your table and the pirates and all the other things like that. But Royal Caribbean, nothing but class as far as I'm concerned, the way they operate their vessels. Here we are, we got off at one of our first ports and just absolutely gorgeous. And you get a shot of the ship from the outside there, of what it looked like. Draw back and give you try to give you a full view of it. I wish it would have had better cameras back then, but this was considered top of the line back then. But we got everybody to line up on the uh, gangway there where we did take some photos and I was able to film everybody. So there's a better view of a view of all the happy campers that were on this particular cruise. So here's another one of the staterooms, one of the inside ones. This is where the children all stayed. And, and that wasn't much bigger than any of the other ones. So some tight quarters, but you know, the kids did not complain, they loved it. Little view of the hallway down there, pretty narrow hall compared to what we have now. And this was down on the second floor. And as we walk over here, here's the diagram of the ship. This is how we did it back in the day. No electronic boards, you go up, you look, figure out where you are now and where you wanna go. And then head off and find what you wanna see. Now, they had a theater here on deck two, which would show first run movies, just like on the Sovereign. It was really, really nice if you wanted to go take a quick movie in, which I believe I did one time. And now moving up to the next deck, there is the photo gallery. Again, totally different than how things are now. Now we got computers that you look at. Back then you go select your photo and on the honor system, take it up and pay for it. Going back here to the Centrum, here's another look at it. There's the shore excursion desk where if you wanted to go, obviously book some shore excursions, that was the place you go to. And over here, we got the purser's office, which is eh, pretty small compared to the uh, desks that they have now occupied by a number of employees. Another view of the elevators going up and looking at the very top of the Centrum. Absolutely gorgeous. And once again, bands playing down and people just enjoying themselves here in the center of the ship. I know we did. This was quite the design back in the day. Here's going up in the elevator. It gives you a little idea of what the view was from inside the glass elevators. Here's one of the nightclubs there, the Dance and Lounge. Not really the nightclub, that took place more up in the Viking Crown Lounge, but a good place to go do some dancing in the evening and have some drinks uh, and just get ready before dinner. Up here, we're on deck seven, looking down again. That gives you kind of a larger view. Again, I wish the uh, quality on this film was better. Now here's one of the things that Royal Caribbean really does good too, is they have a kids club, they do talent shows, and that's what they did with the children here on this one. And there was a huge crowd of kids that were involved in it, but it was really, really fun. I mean, that's when you realize some of these kids cannot sing at all, but they sure are cute up there giving it a try and we really enjoyed and appreciated what the crew did with 
these young children. Building up their self-esteem. Now here's the future piano man. He got up there and whipped out uh, some quick tunes on that Roland keyboard. It, it actually, for his age, he uh, was learning pretty good on how to play that piano. Much better than I could do, I can tell you that. Okay, and now in the main showroom, they decided to have the waiters put on one more show for us of what they can do with the uh, plates bounced on their head and the, and the candles going. So this was a quick show that uh, we took in before the main show started in the main showroom. Okay, here is how we used to keep track of where we are and where we've been and where we're going. The red lights there mean uh, your trip's pretty much coming to an end. But we did the Southern Caribbean on this particular trip and you watch the lights just would click off the farther that we went. And so right there, we only had St. Thomas Virgin Islands next before we headed back to uh, Puerto Rico. But it was really an interesting way to keep track. Here's the schooner piano bar, just a shot, and here's what it looks like with the camera at night, which didn't pick up very good with a low lighting. But that gives you an idea what that looked like. And it was another nice place to sit and have a cocktail. It was formal night that night, and on this ship, most everybody had tuxedos, which was you don't see much. And here's the Sound of Music Theater, and one of the entertainers was up there trying to tell us some jokes and get a laugh out of it. And he probably did, I can't really recall too much. Anyway, I hope this video took you down memory lane and brought back some memories if you were on this particular ship. It was a wonderful time for us and I've been on many, many since then. So I really appreciate you watching Pat's Adventures and thank you very much. Take care.